QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Make custom invoice the default invoice. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are in our test template file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view dropdown, selecting the open windows list. We're now going to go to the lists dropdown. We're going to take a look at our templates. We got our templates down here. We have the templates that we've been creating. We have all these invoice templates. We've been messing with two templates, experimenting with them. One that we created from scratch, one that we downloaded and then adjusted. Now the question is, well, what if I want this one, which isn't the original template that was being used in the invoice to be now the default template? In other words, if I go to the home page here, if I was to create an invoice, then it's going to be using a template. It uses basically this default template into its service invoice. I want it to be this one up top this orange one so it has this big, big thing at the top and then when i preview it then it's this orange template i want that one to be the default let's close this back out and close this back out so you would think go into the templates item over here that if i want this template i'm in the templates area now if i want that to be the default you would think you can like right click on it or something and make it you know say set the default setting or go into this item here and say make this one uh the default but what you basically have to do is make all the other ones that you're not making the default to be inactive. We're not going to delete them. We're simply going to make them to be inactive. So that means all of these items here, we're, we're going to make these other ones inactive, leaving this one, which would, will then, of course, be the default because it's, it'll be the only one that's not inactive. A couple ways you could make it inactive. One way you could go into it, double clicking on the one you want to make inactive, go to the additional customization and then you can have the template uh, is inactive, checking that box off. And then we're going to say OK and OK. And that one has now been made inactive. You'll see this now is, is an option down here. It's not, no longer gray. This little checkbox to include inactive. And if I check on it, then the inactive one right here will be then there. And if I want to reactivate it, then I can, I can right click on it. And I can, uh, I can say make a template active and basically reactivate it. Now the easier, fast way, of course, is to right click on it and make it inactive. So I'm gonna right click on all these and I'm just gonna say, I want to uh, make this template inactive. I wanna make right click on this one and I wanna make it inactive. I wanna right click on this one and make it uh, inactive. I wanna right click on this one and make it inactive. And finally, I wanna right click on this one and make it inactive. Then of course, if we check off this box, we have all of our templates there but they're all inactive. Now I've only got the one I wanna use. Actually, I got one more. Right click on it and make it inactive. Okay, now the only invoice I wanna use is now the only one that's active. So then if I go to the home page and I was to say, let's create an invoice and then I'm, I'm gonna see the template is, is now the only template that's available, the only active template we have there and that's the one. And then if I hit my uh, print drop down and preview it, We've got this nice orange template that uh, that we made the active template.